Well, hello there, and how are you doing? Oh, good, I'm glad to hear it. So am I. I had my blood tests, the results came back, and I am, well, still alive. I have a pulse. But I'm not released from quarantine yet. They still want me to remain in quarantine now until August. Hmm. Ah, well. August. It'll come before too long. I mean, today we're in July already. I'm always envious of all these young people that go running around, you know. I see them all around here. No masks, holding hands, snogging, all the rest of it as the young do, not a care in the world. Ah, well, we were young once, you know, at least I was. <laughs> well, since I'm still in quarantine and this is the, what is this, the 16th week now? I think it is. It's been a long time. Anyway, it's time, I think, for another escape. I've been busy this past week doing chores, household things, hoovering the carpets. I've even moved the dust around a little bit. Well, tried to. Done the laundry. Wow, that was a big one for me. And I've been out in the garden taking care of some of the plants and fruit that I have because I do like a garden that I can eat, you know. So it's time now to do another flight. And I think today what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly to sunny Italy because I'm fed up of rain here in England. It's always been raining, raining, raining. It's, and there's no sun. Italy has sun, you know. They have warm temperatures, not these cold ones that we have. So, let's go to Italy. We'll start off at uh, Naples and we'll do a very short flight down to Reggio Calabrio. And Reggio is, by the way, is right on the toe of Italy and across the straits from Messina in Sicily. Famous place that, you know. Famous place, Messina. World War II, big allied landings there. Anyway, it's a short flight. Flight level will be 25,000 feet, not that high. The thing that we have to watch out for is going to be weather movements coming in. Now, when I listened in to the Meta weather for uh, Reggio Calabria, L-I-C-R, it came back that there were wind shears to the north of the airport. So that means there's a little bit of instability in the area. So it should be rather interesting. The plan seems to be to land on runway 15. At least that's the active runway when I last checked. So we'll see if it is. Well, here you can see what we have for fuel, the block fuel that we're going to need. And right here, of course, is the aggregate fuel for the trip, which the trip plus the taxi together. And there's the reserves. And there's our cost index, 
10 because this is Ryanair and there's the average wind at our particular flight level and here's the page showing the flight levels the winds direction and speeds we will need that so we've got the basic information we've made our notes we know what our flight level is going to be as you can see from this this is the profile we're going to be flying up to flight level 250 and then make a long hopefully a straight in approach for a landing at runway 15 let's see if we can do it so if you're ready let's go get on board Ryanair 186 and let's escape the weather here in England shall we <laughs> hello there come on in welcome to Ryanair 186 today we are taking a little flight down to well Reggio Calabria it's down at the toe of Italy just across from Sicily and we're going to be starting out right here in Naples and we're at stand 14 so if you're ready to join me pull up take your seat fasten your seat belts and let's get started all right first thing batteries on fuel pumps are on and then let's start the auxiliary power unit we're going to wait for this to climb up it will climb up to oh about six and then it swings back when it uh, equalizes out ah there we go it started and then we should see 115 volts showing up here in the DC amp meter there we go it's reached at six it's now swinging back the EGT is dropping down to normal as soon as it does this blue light will come on to say that we have power there it is and we switch the bus from battery now to the APU and we have 115 volts now we'll turn on the galley we'll turn on the emergency exit lights no smoking fasten seat belts <laughs> and over here at the top we're going to turn on the IRS for the left and the right so that we can get a GPS fix now we move over here and turn on the left and the right window heat the probes the electrical pumps here you can see the uh, stairs are down and the forward service hatch is open over here we'll turn on the bleed for the APU and now we have air conditioning going into the main cabin so when the passengers start to pile in all looking for that free champagne and caviar that Ryanair is famous for then they will be able to have it in nice air-conditioned comfort and we'll turn the steady light on so that everybody knows that we are getting ready to do something okay now next thing we've got to do is we need to program the FMC and we start out by doing the position and we're starting out we are at Naples which is LIRN and we are at gate 14 put that in now we'll go to the root origin 
Here's where we cheat. We put in the, of course, the one that we've already done. We've already made the flight plan with SimBrief, exported it as a file, and now we're going to bring that file in automatically into PMDG. In a real airplane, you'd have to put this in manually, at least in this range of models anyway. And our flight number is Ryanair, that's R-Y-R, -R, and we're 186. So we put that in there. Then it shows up on that screen nicely. We activate. Good, we've now got that in. So the next thing we need to do is to put in our fix for Reggio Calabria. So L-I-C-R and then slash 4 for a 4 mile radius, slash 10, and then slash 30. Now we go to the descent page and into the forecast. We're going to enter the values that we took right from the sim brief. And while we do that, we're also going to have a listen in to what the weather conditions are like down there. Lima, India, Charlie, the Romeo Airport information, Charlie, zero, nine, five, zero, Sulu, weather, wind, zero, seven, six, at four, caution, wind shear alert, one, one, miles, north, north, west of Lima, India, Charlie, the Romeo, visibility, one, zero, thousand, sky condition, four, thousand, scattered, moderate rain, temperature, one, two, U point, nine, Q and H, one, zero, one, six, advice on initial contact, you have information, Charlie, Well, did you hear that? There are some wind shear alerts to the north of the airport. We'll have to be watching out for that. Anyway, we've got the Q&A to 1016, so we can put that in. And now we put the remainder part in. So it's 325 and 13, and then 32410, and 10 and 344 slash 9. And put that in. Now let's find out what we've got here. Capodicino, airport information, India, 1330, Zulu, wind 044 at 8, visibility greater than 20 miles, sky condition 2700 scattered, temperature 152.2, altimeter 1016, landing and departing runway 6, VFR aircraft say direction of flight, all aircraft read back hold short instructions, advise controller on initial contact you have, India, Capodicino, airport information. Right, we have India, departure is going to be on 6. And the altimeter is 1016, which we've got in. So if we're departing on runway 6, then that's a 056. We need to set that. Got it. The minimum set in. Right, so we're departing on runway six and we're departing on the Delhi 5A. And there are strict controls for speed and for altitudes in this departure. We will be arriving on I mean, runway 15. So now let's just check this to make sure that we've got uh, our departure. Sobre, Volker, Radio, Pilger, 
and there's Munda. Okay, we have a good departure. Now we'll just check, make sure that um, we will perform the initialization. The trip is going to be 5.3 reserves. 3.1 cost index is 10 cruise altitude 250 and average when 288.15 we'll do the 14 degrees here takeoff we'll do flaps 10 and 142 is for our B2 setting. Okay, let's check that. Ah, I've got two green lights, we're good. All right. Very good. Well, we are now set to go. We just need to get our takeoff clearance and then we'll be able to start up and go in reverse. Okay, we've got everything set up in Navigraph, so let's just check. Yes, everybody's on board, so we will bring up the stairs and close the door. Hopefully, everybody's seated. And now we'll ask for a departure south, which is... Naples ground, Ryanair 186 request taxi for departure to the south with Juliet. Ryanair 186 taxi to and hold short of runway 6 using taxiway Alpha contact tower on 118.5 when ready. Taxiing hold short runway 6 using taxiway Alpha Ryanair 186. Well, we have our clearance. So, and we will ask the wonderful ground crew if they would be so kind as to push us back and to protect us from all these kamikaze buses and ground vehicles. Okay, here we go then. So, next is air conditioning off and we will start engine number one today. Okay, we're looking here, making sure that we've got we're coming up 14 on the N2 listing here. Let's see if we can get to 24 and then we'll introduce fuel. There's 24. Let's see what happens over here. It's building up. Looks like we've got a good burn. All right, and then next thing we'll look for is 115 volts up here from engine number one. Ah, oh, yes, got a good one there. And now we'll start engine number two. Let it wind up to 24. There we go. Bring the fuel up to idle. Making sure, yes, we've got a good burn. It's spinning up. Ah, yes, very good. We'll get 115 volts showing up here in just a moment. Good, we have it. Now we're going to stop at this point, put the handbrake on. We're going to now
switch the power to the main engines. So next thing we do, turn on the air conditioning. So now the air can blow into people's faces. Turn off the APU bleed and turn off the APU. Turn on the taxi lights. And now we're set to taxi to the active. If we can do it without getting clobbered by a kamikaze bus. All right then. Everybody holding tight. This is a busy airport. This is busier than the M1. My goodness me. Okay. All right, tick, 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 tick. There we go. And we want to go down there. there's a little bit of rain waiting for us in uh, Reggio according to the forecast I was rather hoping for some of that wonderful sunshine that Italy is so famous for and swing right here to and here we go here's the whole short line Put the brake on and let's contact the tower and get our takeoff clearance. Naples Tower, Ryanair 186 at runway 6, ready for takeoff, south departure. Ryanair 186 cleared for takeoff, runway 6, south departure approved. Cleared for takeoff, runway 6, Ryanair 186. Oh, we have given up, been given our clearance, so let's just, uh, before takeoff, okay, break off. Go to flaps 10, RTO. making sure nothing is coming that would be embarrassing Stabilizer trim is correct, check. And auto brake, RTO, check. Speed brake lever, 
check. Ground equipment is clear, both. Everything is clear. Breathing bleeds are on. Check. Engine start switches continuous. Check. TCAS on is check. Right. Checklist complete. Start the clock. All lights are on. And we will advance the power now to N1. And that looks good. Toga button pushed. One rotate. V two. V two. Positive rate. Gear up. RTO is right on. Right now, eight six. You are leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. And autopilot engaged. There's the middle marker. Gear is up, lights are off. RTO is off. Go to flaps five. Release the crew. Go to work. Flaps up.
rate of climb. Engine bleeds are on, check. Packs are auto, check. Landing gear up and off and no lights, check. Flaps up, no light, check. Altimeters set, both correct. We are checklist is complete. We'll be coming up on Sorrento in just a moment. It's at the southern part of the Bay of uh, Naples. Ah, oh, yes. And there's Italy. Beautiful view of Italy and the coastline, the Mediterranean coastline there. We are going to have to watch out for weather though, it's, uh, it's a little unsettled and with a warning of wind shear, well that's going to be interesting for landing. I hope that you've got your own bags, you know, sick bags, did you bring them with you? Oh dear, oh well, no matter. We'll let the passengers loose for a little bit. We'll be landing in about 20 minutes or so. It's a very short flight. Now, that was Sorrento, now we're turning on our new course. to our cruise altitude. And the fuel flow is coming back. 
cruising altitude looking good So far looking good. Another 40 miles and we'll be starting our descent. We are 136 miles to the airport. The plan is to arrive on, on runway 15 and if things work out and the weather doesn't change and we get that then we'll be given a straight in approach to land on runway 15.
we are starting our descent. And we should be pulling up to the gate in 20 minutes, so... There's plenty of cloud out there. I'm going to turn the seatbelt signs back on because we have some weather up ahead that's showing. We have a, a yellow cell. Hopefully it won't be too rough.
Lima, India, Charlie Romeo, Airport Information, Delta, zero, nine, five, zero, Zulu, weather, wind, zero, seven, six, at four, caution, wind shear, one, one, miles, north, northwest of Lima, India, Charlie Romeo, visibility, one, zero, thousand, sky condition, four, thousand, scatter, moderate wind, temperature, one, two, two point nine, and QNH, one, zero, Well, it's going to be a little bit of a crosswind landing and with the wind shear alert still being reported that's we better make sure all of those champagne glasses are all secured hadn't we Seventy miles to landing. There's quite a bit of storm activity building up in front of us. We'll be slowing up to make the passage a little easier. But it's going to shake the crockery a bit, I think. thousand feet and descending.
we'll caution the crew to be ready for turbulence. We're about to move into this cloud here. But we have slowed down. We're down to just a tad over 200 knots, which shouldn't be too bad going through this. Now our speed tape is going up and down a bit as we pass through that cloud formation. Okay, pressurization. Check. Seatbelt sign is on, check, recall, check, auto brake is on and armed, and V revs, check, approach briefing is complete, approach landing checklist is complete, we're ready to make our landing. have a bad weather cell over to the right of us. I'm glad that we're not going through it. We'll be crossing over Messina in just a minute. And here's the rain. It's a bit bumpy here.
Reggio Tower, Ryanair 18631 miles north to land. Ryanair 186 Reggio Tower, fly straight in, runway 15, altimeter 1015. Fly straight in, runway 15, Ryanair 186. Well, we have our clearance. And it is bumping. Let's go to flap one. Let's slow this wee beastie down. Four miles to touchdown. Oh, that's right there is telling you that we've got a lot of bounce. more stable now. Messina's just ahead of us. Passing through 4,200 feet, descent is looking good.
there's the port of Messina there. Runway is in sight. Ryanair one eight six clear to land. Runway one five clear to land. Runway one five. Ryanair one eight six. We have our clearance to land. Watch out for those wind shears. over the top of the football stadium.
Ryanair 186, exit runway when able. Clean up complete. Ryanair 186, exit runway when able. Ryanair 186, contact ground on 118.25. Going to 118.25, Ryanair 186. And right here at stand number one in front of the terminal. Bienvenuto a Radio Calabria. Okay. Everybody's piling off, going into the terminal, so we'll go through the cleanup. Okay. are down okay All right fuel pumps off APU off battery off aircraft shutdown is complete Well, there you have it. We've had our flight. We made a landing. A little bit bumpy, but then again, we did get warnings that there were going to be some wind shears. But the thing that was so disappointing is it was cloudy. There was no sunshine down there and it was raining. My goodness me. It's a priest pal who lives in Italy, by the way, in the Verona diocese area. He's been telling me how wonderful the weather is. Well, apparently it's not too bad in Verona, but it's terrible down in Reggio Calabria, as you can see. Well, I hope that you enjoyed the flight, notwithstanding the wind pockets and the rather rough turbulence that we looked at and we'll get together again soon. Take care, be safe.